So a really easy and simple way to start selling your photography online is to use a SmugMug website. If you want to sell prints and digital images, this is exactly what you need. Okay, with SmugMug, if you want to sell prints and digital images online, you need the portfolio or the pro account. And I'm going to show you with the portfolio account how to set up a price list, how easy it is and quick just to get going. Okay, so let's have a look. I've got my Show Dogs website here, which is on a SmugMug website. And I've got a page on the website for the photography on the dog's website. Now what you do is go up to the selling tools in the top bar. Then you want to look for price list and you're going to manage the price list. Okay, now SmugMug give you a default price list which is quite good. There's loads and loads of standard prints and wall art. There's no downloads which are applied to this price list which they give you to start off with. So what we're going to do is create a new price list of our own. So just to hit create new. And what we're going to do, we need to give the, na give the price list a name. So mine's just going to be dog show photos because that's what I'm doing. I'm selling a few photos at dog shows and for other people's dogs at the events I do. Now, Loxley Colour, if you're in the UK, it's the print lab what you need. And obviously you want to be paid in pounds. Leave the colour correction on or off, it's up to you. And the suggested pricing, so SmugMug could help you out with the pricing if you're unsure. And then I'm going to round up to, to like pounds, basically, and create the list. Now, right, so your price list is empty. Just check that you've got Loxley colour. I'll just tell you why, because the first, five years, six years ago, when I got my first SmugMug account, I was that excited to get my prints professional prints from the print lab. I uploaded my photos, got my photos ordered, and it took three weeks to turn up. Now, I was really beginning to think, this is rubbish, smug mug. Well, when they finally turned up, the I didn't realise, but they'd come from America. They'd come from Bay Photo, which were absolutely amazing quality photos. They were lovely, but they took three weeks because I'd, I'd not checked the print lab. Now, I think on the default price list from SmugMug, it'll already be set up for you so that mistake can't happen. But when you're creating your new price list, you do need to check, unless you want them to come from Bay Photo if you're in the UK, but you just have to wait a bit, won't you, for them. But yeah, check that the Loxley colour and they're literally like next day, two days, your photos, your prints will, will be here. So that's why I'm just telling you to check your print lab. I always check my print lab now just in case, sort of thing I do. So next we're going to make this uh, active price list because we've only got one price list and then we're going to go and choose the products. Now I'm wanting to sell downloads, just single downloads. I want a web file and I want a high res um, file. The, I mean you can sell your videos, you can sell all sorts on here. Um, prints, I only want a few prints. I want a 7x5. Now again with Loxley colour, you've got three print types, but I only want the Lustre, and I want 7b5, 10b8, and a 12b8. That's all, all I need to offer. Okay, but you've got all the sizes, panoramic, squares, you name it, you've got it, wall art, keepsakes, you can choose any of them. And then what we're going to go and do is just click done, and now we just need to adjust the prices. Put what price, basically, whatever you want to sell this product at, you put the price in. Now, my web files are going to be £15. are perfect for social media or for websites. And then the price on the left is the profit, what I'll, I will be getting from that. And then for the high res, I just put my price in. And again, on the left-hand side is the profit, what I'll get. And then I'll go down and just put the price in for the prints which is my three prints where I've chose, which I'm just going to do. I say it's entirely up to you what you want to charge for your prints, digital images and whatever else you're going to put in here. What have we got? Put the rest in. The 12B8. Okay, so I've put my own prices into this price list now. Now, if I wanted to any more products, I can just click choose products. 
I've made this my active price list and now I'm going to hit apply changes and that will save all what I've just put in there and we're going to go back to manage price list now the blue star is on dog show photos which is my active price list for the portfolio account if I wanted to go back to the smog mug recommend you know their basic price list what they give you you can just tick make this my active price list if we just tick that there we go the star is back on the smog mug price list and, and you're back to where you were at the beginning okay but I've put it back on the dog show so that is my active price list so any galleries which I switch the shopping cart on on any of the smog mug galleries what I've just created there with two downloads and three prints will be applied to those smog mug galleries in my account right so what we're going to do now is go to organize and I'll find a gallery and just show you how to apply that price list to one of your smog mug galleries so here we go let's pick dog show photos okay now we want to go to the settings of that gallery and what we want to look for is shopping down the side and then all we're going to do is switch shopping cart on and by doing that that price list which is our active price list with the star with the blue background that has been applied to the to this gallery and any other galleries in your smug mug photo storage will have that active price list on once you click the shopping cart visitor shopping cart on now also photo protection if you are selling photos online or if you are sending a smug mug gallery out on a private or an unlisted link so if people want their photos kept private and they're going to buy them off off you and you're going to send them to them you put a watermark on it because if you don't you'll never hear from them again I can guarantee that you need to put a watermark on and it's so easy to do if you can't use Photoshop I have made another video and I'll put the link in the description below and there's free downloads and the biggest copyright mark is what you want on your photos if you're wanting to sell them however you sell them whether you put them on your website or you put them in an unlisted link and send them out you put a watermark on so and all you're going to do in this gallery is click on and then choose you'll see from my other video the one I've created I'm just putting on those photos and then you click save it's as simple as that okay so what we will do is have a look at this gallery on the photo site I'm not selling these photos on here it's just an example right so what we've got is the watermark on there already so if we click on a photo okay now because we're logged in we can buy everything for this photo so what you need to do is either log out or go into a different browser let's just refresh that and there we go we've got the watermark on the photos on that gallery and if click on another photo and there you go buy this photo we've got single high res and that's the price I put in and same with the web file the 15 pound that price list is working so if you're unsure if your price list is working just log out or go in another browser okay now how are you going to get paid you're going to go to your account settings you want to know when your money's coming from when you sell all your photos now what you want is business in the account settings and finances if you click the tax and payment info you need to fill that in to start with and then your payment schedule you want to manage that the default setting is that once you've got at least five hundred dollars in your account you're going to get paid or well, you can change that to request a one-time payment so all you need to make sell is over ten dollars worth of prints or digital images and then you'll get paid each month so whether it's 50 100 200 as long as it's over ten dollars you'll get your money if you just change it in in the account settings it's as simple as that 
I'll just show you as well if you're unaware what an unlisted link is or a private online gallery with Smog Mug. They're really good these are. Now what you need to do is go back to your gallery again, back to the gallery settings and then you want in security and sharing and what you're going to click is public anyone or unlisted anyone with the link or private only me. So public is anybody, so if you've got photos you want to sell, which is to anybody, like when I did the Kennel Club events, they're perfect just to put them straight onto your website because once they click on and view the photos, they can buy straight away. They've not got to look around or ask somebody for the link. Just put them straight on your website. Now, unlisted anyone with the link is ideal for if you're doing private photo shoots or say a wedding. A wedding is perfect for this because you don't want the whole world to see the wedding, but that link needs to be able to be shared to all the family members so they can buy directly off that website, prints, digital images, whatever they want to buy. And then private only me, that is just basically what it says. Only me is going to see those photos, which is perfect for storing your photos with Smogmog, that is. I do have a few other Smogmog videos. I'll put the link in the description below to them, which is how to share a Smogmog gallery to Facebook. I've got my dog breeder website videos, although you won't probably want to make the dog breeder website, that website is made with Smogmog, so there's how to make a page, a few other bits and bobs which will probably be handy if you've never used Smogmog before, they could be useful to you. Also, I will definitely put in the link to the video for the watermark and the free downloads because if you want to sell your images, you must put the watermark on and it's so easy to do. If you just watch that video, it's only about four minutes long. And if you don't know how to use Photoshop, then just download those free downloads. They're off a small mug gallery, so you'll see how it works too. So easy. And just apply a watermark if you're wanting to sell your photos. Okay, there's also a discount to Smogmog in the, dis in the description below and you can try Smogmog free for 14 days.